Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Liquid product, I think I did liquid product transport on the other one. Let's, let's go and have a look, I've actually got it in here. I can, um, because, uh, yeah, I can very quickly, yeah, we go to there and uh, field four, field six slurry, field six temp. Load that course, let's have a look. Drive course, start course, field six. That says that one. I got the wrong one, I think. All right. Clear current course. Slurry load one. There. Now go in. That's putting it on that one as well. Slurry load one is saying there. I thought I had it on this one. Slurry load one. I don't know. Now I am just genuinely confused. So I want to go with there. Oh, calculate field edge. Start course recording. I can't remember. I think it was this one that I did. So I'm going to start course recording on there. And I'm going to drive. Keeping it outside of the field as I drive, I think. Oh, wait a minute. There was an... Wasn't there an option for tipping on the course? Like, I've, I've got an option right now for... That's what I've done wrong, I think. I think I needed to actually physically program where I empty out. And I bring you down to here, like this. And I can start loading this one. Like that. And I can drive on past the back of there. And then swing around this way like that. And then I will follow the course back on itself, like this. Back over to near where I started. Over this way. So basically, I want to I sort of be somewhere like this, I think, for this course. There, and stop. Right, now that one, I'm going to go here. Slurry, load, temp is what I'm going to call that one. So I've saved it so that I can come back and I can use it. So I'm, going to, I'm actually going to clear that course now, and then I'm going to go over here. I wonder if I needed to manually press the bit where I unload, like to mark an unload point on the course. Because I see, I just seen that on there with, with, with the course where we could potentially do that. So I'll bring you over this way, and then I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go to there and we've got field six slurry on field six at the moment field six slurry load and then i'm going to go slurry load temp yeah that's where this one stops slurry load temp there uh append and load that one I should have two combined courses. Start course at uh, current waypoint, next closest waypoint. So I want the next closest waypoint, which... Oh, right there where I've got that big P. So we'll spin round a minute and we'll go like that. And I will also unfold this one. Like this. And I'll bring you round like that. There. Bring you down over this way. Like that. And put you about... Actually, I want to I wanna go back behind that one so that I don't confuse anything. There. I'm going to go to right there. I think that'll be about right. And then next closest waypoint, drive course. Right. Now what's it going to do? Oh, I've got a little bit of slurry on me. I went and loaded up the slurry, didn't I? So he's now going to fold this bad boy up. Hopefully without walloping those trees. No such luck. But he's able to do it. And then he's going to go on a little bit further. 
He, he's going to go up. Right, this one will work all right. This one will go, and it will do the unloading, and it will do the loading, and do everything it needs to do. It's going to go up there, and he's going to go towards the start of the course that I've got laid out. At least that's what I'm hoping. He's driving along the inside of the field to get there as well, which is another good thing. That, that is a good thing. Now what's he going to do? Is he going to go out and onto the course? He is. He's going out onto the road over here. Bring it out that way. Then he's driving off up the road. So now he's going to follow the bit there. He's going to go over to that tanker. And I've got one more thing that I want to try with this truck right here for this course. I've, I'm pretty sure I know what to do. Pretty sure I need to manually add an unload point onto it. And that's why it wasn't working. So that one's going to come down there and he's going to load up what I've got on me. So I'm going to let that one do that. Uh, that's going to be just tickety-boo. This one I'm going to start unloading so that that one there can take a full load. And then once I've finished doing the unloading, actually I'm going to clear that course completely. I don't think I've got... Yeah, I, that, I don't need another one. So we clear that course. And it's this one here that I want. And I'll pull forward a bit to do the actual course recording. And I'm fully unloaded. Right, let's start the engine. That one there is... Actually, I can see it there up in our top left-hand corner. Uh, 99 is 100%. And he's away. He's going. He's, he's going to go back off and he should carry on with doing the stuff that he needs to do in the field. So this one here, I'm going to bring you up to there. And this is where I'm going to start load uh, recording. And I'm going to do that course there. Start course recording. And it's uh, set unload point. That's what I needed to do. I didn't set an unload point. That's what I got wrong. I think. I'll soon find out. So we drive down here. So I need to set an unload point. And because I didn't set an unload point, it didn't unload. It just carried on driving and, and it just carried on regardless and just completely ignored everything. Right. You come down through here. This is going to be, it's going to work absolutely perfectly now. We're not going to have any issues whatsoever. We'll go into the yard we will load up yet another 30,000 litres of slurry. And then we will go out of the yard and we will go back over to that uh, slurry tanker that is on the edges of the fields. And we can keep using the same courses if I just leave that slurry tanker exactly where it is and never move it. Although I'm thinking maybe we could do with a bigger one than that. So I bring you to there. I don't need to change anything with that because that's the load point. The load point matters not at all. And then we go round this way. But what does matter is setting the unload point. And that's what I didn't do. I didn't set an unload point. So I will go along here. And I will go driving up here. We will slow right down again. The quad track is working in the field. That one's working away now. I can see it unloading there. He's down to 90, 87% already. But we're bringing up loads of... Well, we're not actually... We don't have any slurry on us at the moment. But we're bringing up slurry. Those of you who know Corseplay are probably getting quite frustrated at my sheer moronic idiocy all the way through this. But at least I'm trying. I, you, you, I, I do get points for trying. So I'm going to bring that one to there like that. Actually, I'm going to go on a little tiny bit further. A tiny bit further. So I want to make sure that I'm far enough away from the quad track. Right, I will go there. Set unload point there. And then I'm going to go on to here like this. And then I'm going to stop course recording right there. So there's the unload point. Okay. Let's save this one. Uh, temp. Three. There, I've saved it. Drive course. He should now drive all the way to the bottom. He should load up and then he should come back up again. 
So far, no problems at all. He's come all the way down and he is about to load up. But this part of the course, we've had go fine all the way through. See, so he's got loading or zero of 30,000, it said at the bottom. It's now loading. So next, we need to make sure that it does actually unload at the top. And it was because I didn't set an unload point. It was that simple, <laughs> it would seem. Just that ridiculously simple. Leave that one going there for a minute, and I will go up through here. So you are still chugging away, and you are doing an absolutely grand job here in the field. Uh, I've got no complaints to this one at all. He's doing a brilliant job. And then we've got this one up in the field. He's now folded up. So he's on his way back over to go and load up. So I'm not quite sure where he's going to go. Is he going to go up there or is he going in a straight line over to that one? We should see. There's the truck coming out of the field. They're coming out of the yard down there. That one's coming up through. Comes up round there. That's fantastic. This one's coming up here, and he's going to go down, and he's going to load up. This is whether these two are going to interfere with each other. That's what I'm a little bit concerned about. But it's great being able to see them working together in the field. And i got another one that's working over there. I'm actually starting to quite appreciate what we're doing with this. The big thing is up here, because last time it slowed way down up here. Is that one going to come and drive into the side of the truck before the truck quite pulls forward far enough? Why are we doing 1K? Well, 2K. Well, yeah, 1, one 2. Why am I going so slow here? I've got an unload point. Loading 30,000. Why is it saying loading? I've got an unload point here, not a load point. And there we have it. Right, stop there. It would appear that that doesn't work. Okay, so it's not as simple as that. That doesn't work. Course play is stupid. Course play doesn't work. Course play is broken. It doesn't work. Everything is messed up. Why won't you unload? All you have to do is unload your load in there. Unload your stinking load in there. And I can say that because it is a stinking load. It's slurry. Anybody that's never experienced slurry up close and personal, there are worse things than cow slurry. Um, chicken and pig slurry are far worse than the cows, but it still doesn't smell all that sweet. Um, so what's, go what's, what's going on with this? Why, why is this so horribly wrong? And... Did we really use an entire load going... We did. It went up there and it went really slow going around that corner, I'll bet. Or... Okay, I am really curious what we did there. I, I think what we're going to need to do is the quad track is just going to have to go back to the yard. Because this, this is just, like, not working at all. Why are you, you... You should just come up here and you should unload. Right? That's That's what you should do. Clear that course. That one there. Start course recording. I've got the reverse bit. I can back away from there. Like that. Set crossing point. Temporary course. Set unload point. I don't know what that is. Start reverse driving. Start turn maneuver. Set weight point. Is that what I need to do? Set a weight point? Maybe that's what I need to do. Stop. Clear that bit. Um, I'm just about out of ideas on this, but I've definitely got an unload point there that I can use. So let's switch it over to this particular version. Because that's... Transfer, drive from start to finish. I, I am only transferring though, aren't I? That there is slurry. Yeah. Maybe I need to do a transfer one rather than this one. Because then that doesn't do anything from here. Start course recording. No, I don't want to start from here. Right, cancel that. 
I'm going to do this one more time. Just once. I'll bring you to there. Go on. Actually, I'll go on a little bit further. Start course recording from here. Right. Start course recording from here. And then... I'll bring that round. I'm going to drive off into... Right, right down around to the bottom. I've got a full tanker load on me at the moment. I'm quite happy with that because uh, I've, I've got a plan for this. I'll start driving the course up close to this one so that we don't have to spend too long messing around trying to get this right. I'm hoping that it will just work out. Well, that's not much good. I'm busy making my course right here. Pause the recording. And that quad track has gone and got right in the way of us. So I'll go back to there a minute like that. Resume the recording because I really don't want to have to go and do it again. So let's hope that the resumed recording is going to be all right. So then I'll bring you up to here like this. Now... I should be able to un there, unload. I've got the unload point right there. So I'm going to put set an unload point, set a wait point. Just stop right there and let me do what I need to do. Right? What's wrong with that? I'm going to pull it forward just a tiny bit like that. And I'm going to stop the recording right there. In theory, it should come through and it should unload, right? It should go through there and it should unload. Now, the quad track has got nothing on board at the moment. Or has it? No, the quad track's got nothing at all. I'm going to bring this one back down to here. And I'm going to start this course at the nearest point because I've got a tank a load of slurry already. So I will go to there, uh, start course at next closest waypoint drive course is it gonna work now I temporarily paused the recording just here uh, that doesn't seem to have interfered with it too much I hope no that hasn't interfered with it too much it's this bit right I pressed pause I stopped it I, I, I didn't want it to move it's slowed way down and it's acting really stupid and I don't quite know why. It should just pull up alongside, empty out, and then be on its merry. And it's not being on its merry. Has reached waiting. Well, unload then! Tip the slurry into the thing there, you moron! Just put the slurry in the tanker! Nope. Nope, it's as thick as the stuff that it's got in this tanker there. As... <laughs> right, stop, driver. It is as thick as the liquid in there. Yes, it is absolutely as thick as that. So, uh, I'll unload this into here. Just one load like that. That one's on his way back, so he's going to get 30,000 litres of slurry. We'll set up a new course for that one going back to the farm. Um, I can't be bothered with this. This, this is obviously not working. Um, it's obviously nothing whatsoever to do with my skill as a, um, a course play user. It's got zero to do with that whatsoever, and it is 100% everything to do with the fact that um, it, course play doesn't work. Right, that's, that's what it is. Course play just doesn't work. It's a broken mod. It doesn't work. We're just going to give up. Uh, but that's that's <laughs> that I think is the best option. So I'm gonna take this one back. I don't actually need this tanker anymore if I'm not going to be using this. Uh, so this one could be returned. The other one could be returned, and we'll have the tractor just driving into the yard to reload its slurry while it's working out in the field. The other dude is doing that as well, and we can then use the lorry for selling the grain instead of doing what we're doing now. I'm just going to start by hosing things off here. I say start because it is now after Christmas. I've had my Christmas break. I've had my seven days off. Seven days without doing any recording. And I, mean, I do have to do like a few little things behind the scenes. Um, you know, uploading the videos each day, that sort of thing. But anybody that's ever worked on a farm 
It's very familiar with the concept of taking seven days off and still having to do a little work every day. And I happened to mention this to my grandmother, that uh, I was taking seven days off. I just had to do a little bit each day. And she said, well, you're just feeding the animals then, aren't you? That's all you're doing. It's your, you're feeding the animals. She spent a lifetime working on farm. Uh, well, well, farms, various different farms. So she knows all about it. And she said, yes, you're just feeding the animals. And that is just about, yeah, that's, that's, that's nailed it, really. That's, that's what the life of the YouTuber is. I feed the animals when I'm... Even on my days off, I still have to feed the animals. So it, it takes about an hour each day. That's, that's what I do. But anyway, I have had my Christmas. And I had a fantastic seven days off. Uh, I hope that you guys have all had a fantastic Christmas break as well. Um, it's actually a couple days before New Year for me. Because I started my little break a few days before Christmas. And... Uh, ran it through like that. Um, right, let's unhitch that one there, and then I will put the tractor in the bay next to it. Um, so, yeah, it's a couple days before New Year. I've, I've never really put much import on um, New Year. I've, I've never really sort of worried about it too much. I might stay up until, well, I, I almost always stay up until midnight and, and see the New Year in, but it, it, it never really means anything to me because... I've, I've never really sort of associated a particular year with good or bad things. It's just time goes on and that's what happens. So I, I generally, the, the whole new year and end of year and stuff like that, I, I completely ignore it. It, it. it makes no difference to me whatsoever. Now, there is a couple of things that I need to do. I haven't actually gone and done it. So, oh, wait a minute. First up, these, oh, that's, that's not too bad. I, that one's definitely danced around. Right, look at that. That one has danced all over the place. It's not where it should be. I don't particularly like that. But they're in a great deal I can do about that. So we're going to have to try and find another way to do something with this one right here, I think. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet, but uh, we will figure something out. Now, the other things. This um, slurry container here. We're going to get rid of that one. We're not going to use it. And then this one over here, I've got two combined courses for this one at the moment. I'm going to undo the combined courses and instead I'm going to use something else. So we're going to get rid of that one there. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to start the course recording. I may as well start the course recording from about here, but I'm, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to bring it close by. I'll bring I'll bring the course to start recording just down here a little bit so it'll still do it from within the field but it's it's outside of the field because I need to do this one from outside of the field. Um, we're not going to use that one there because from what I've been able to establish, a little bit of research in that, this one doesn't actually have an overload function. Um, this slurry tanker doesn't have an overload function and that's why it's not been working with course play. That's as far as I know. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm, I'm going to disregard that bit. I did really want that to work to be able to have the container out in the field. But honestly, I don't think it actually matters. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. And I want to go to the courses that we had set up in here. Now I got a whole load of temp courses here. And I think those are the ones that are bringing the slurry up. So I don't actually want those. I will start. Get, I'll get rid of those. Tip, temp, one, two, and three. I'm going to ditch all of them. I'm not going to keep any of those. Oh, slurry load temp. That one can go. Wait a minute. Slurry load one. Which one was that? I hope I didn't just get rid of the wrong one. I think it was slurry load temp. And then the temps were the ones that I wanted to get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of that. And tip as well. Can't remember now. This is why I've been told I need to start putting field names on all of them. Because otherwise I end up making horrible mistakes. So let me just get rid of... Uh, leave that one there a second. And dance through our various vehicles. Go to this one over here. Now you've stopped right there where you shouldn't have. Slurry load one. Is that the one I got rid of? Slurry load one and slurry cultivate... Those are the two that I want in this field. Well, they should be. If I look in here, slurry load one, 
That just says slow reload one. That doesn't say anything else. So I should have two courses on here. So I'm going to get rid of that a minute. And I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to go slurry cultivate there. Load that course. Drive course slurry cultivate. I've got that one in there. I'll go here a minute and I'll do that right. There we go. So we can see that course is there. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's amazing. And I will then go into here and I will go slurry load one. I hope. Two combined courses. And then I will go on to here. And that is start course at nearest waypoint. So that one I want to turn around. There's a tree in the way there, which I don't think it liked. Uh, but it's right here that I want to start. So I want to go there and run it on there. I'm, I'm hoping. So if I go drive course, start course at nearest waypoint. Drive course. It's lowered it down. Started doing what it's supposed to do by the look of it. I'm hoping that it will carry on. We can just watch this one a minute because we've only got two and a half thousand liters left in here. So it should, after it's finished doing this little run up across here, it should then go to the slurry load, um, run back over to the yard over there and fill up. Now, I can't zoom out enough to be able to see if we've got the course over there. Or if I've got the wrong one, I'm hoping that this is the correct slurry course, slurry load. Yes. Yes, it is. I can see just down there on the edge of the field, I can see a marker. Right, so that's the one that we want for this. So this one will just carry on doing what it was doing. Should do, anyway. Without any problems. Yeah, I was going to see a marker just down over there. So he should go over and he should load up at the cattle pen. And then come back again. It's only 800 litres left. So we'll just let it spin around and do what it's going to do. And then that one will go off and it will finish. It's only got a little bit left to do to finish its first pass across the field. And then it will go back over and it will do every other line to just finish that off. And that should be every single little bit of the field cultivated and slurried as well. At least this is what I'm hoping. The other one, we need to go and record a new course for that one. And then we'll join that into the field that we're in. And we'll also use that course for an, another one as well. So that one's going to stop there. The two combined courses. And it's bringing it over this way. He's turning round. Turn round fairly sharp. And now he's going to drive straight towards the next bit of the field. Where he needs to go. Why is it going over this way? Okay, I'm not quite sure why he's driving around the edges like that. Seems a little bit odd. But anyway, he's, he's doing it. So, so long as he's doing roughly what we want him to do. 14 miles an hour across the field. I mean, I don't think we need it to go any faster than that. It's, it's probably all right. I mean, I've got it on dollar redos and miles an hour to redo. So we'll, we'll, I'll change that over a minute. And as always, whenever I go into general settings... Change out to kilometers, I'll change out to euros. Whenever I come out of general settings, everything pauses. It's, it's done this since, like, day one. I don't know why, because not everybody else has this same issue. There we go. Right. So, yeah, I, I don't really know why. But anyway, there, it's, it's definitely got the right course. I did save the right one. Uh, so, we'll leave that one to carry on. He's going to do his thing. And... Us, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this one and I'm going to start recording a new course with this one. So I'm going to go into you right here. I'm just going to start that one up. I'm going to go there and... Oh, wait a minute. There is one thing that I do want to do. I'll just get rid of that a second. I want to go over to the other tractor and you right now, two combined courses it's saying on there. Oh, it's not telling me which one it is on there. Like the first one. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time... Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.